Welcome to Foam University. Today we're going to talk about some common insulation problems with Cape Cod style houses. There's two things we want to talk about today. The first is the gable end walls. The second is the cathedral ceiling areas. So the gable ends. Really the only complication here is that it will require both injection foam and spray foam to insulate this area properly. The reason is because the inside living space is usually finished off and you'll need to put injection foam in there, usually installed from the outside, to get the main area. However, the knee wall cubby spaces down by the gable ends, they're normally open and exposed, so you'll need to use spray foam for that area. So again, the only complication is that it will require both injection foam and spray foam to properly insulate it. Now the cathedral ceilings. The complication with this is that it will be an invasive process. Unfortunately, the best way to insulate it is to cut strips out of the, out of the cathedral ceiling on either side of the peak, remove any existing insulation that's in there, and install spray foam. Obviously, there will be a lot of cleanup work involved with that, and there's going to be a lot of patchwork involved for the drywall. So again, this will be a very invasive process, but like I said, it's really the best way to do it. And, and you're really limited to begin with, with the cathedral ceiling. So no going in, it's gonna be invasive either way you approach it. The last thing I wanna talk about the Cape Cod style house, again references the cathedral ceiling areas, and that's thermal bridging. Anytime you have a uh, Cape Cod style house with cathedral ceilings, or even just a cathedral ceiling on any part of a house, you will have thermal bridging. Uh, we've talked about that before, but that's essentially where there's a direct connection, a physical connection from the inside living space to the outside. With the cathedral ceiling, your drywall is directly connected to your roof trusses, which is directly connected to your roof. So again, you will have that heat loss. There's always the potential for ice damming and snow melt simply through that thermal bridging. So just something to keep in mind if you have a Cape Cod style house or if you're looking to maybe get a Cape Cod style house, it's an inherent issue with cathedral ceilings. Hope this information was helpful. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, leave us a comment. If you have a Cape Cod style house and you've wondered about the best way to insulate this area or another area, please tell us about it. We'd love to talk to you. Don't forget to hit that bell so you see all of our notifications. Do you need a last minute gift for a loved one? Share one of our videos. It's the gift that keeps on giving.